Hey guys, uh, little update. It's been a while since uh, the previous videos, but we did have a lot of different upgrades, a lot of uh, money spent on it, but it was worthwhile. So let's start off. Right here, this is our uh, Dell Porridge R610. It has two, it says 80, but they're not um, SATA drives or SSDs, they're Intel. In Enterprise SSDs, they are, uh, I believe, 147. Yeah, 147, 147 into RAID 1. And this is for op operating system for uh, Sophos UTM. It's running off of a Dell Porridge R10, if I can get it to focus. There you go. Oh, well, won't get there. We have two ubiquity edge switches with uh, SFP trunking. Both dual, going one going down, one going up. We do have an edge runner. Uh, two million packets per second. It's capable of. We got the uplink. We got private, external, and uh, VoIP for Uma. Here's one of our R710s. This one has 288 gigs of RAM. This has two solid states. It says they're SAS, but I replaced them. It's Intel. Actually, these are Samsung Pros. The E. I can't remember the model, but these both are 512. So you got terabyte into RAID 1. No, not terabyte. 512 into RAID 1. So you only have one usable. Others mirrored. And the rest of these are all um, SAS drives. They're all 146 GB. Uh, GB uh, 15 case. These ones are in RAID 5. These ones are in RAID 0 for performance for certain um, applications. This is our second R710. This is the first one. There's the second one. This one is a uh, mainly for a lot of websites, Exchange Server, um, pretty much a lot of uh, business works applications um, so this is two 15k 73 these are correct stickers still so 73 GB 15k and the rest of these are 10k 146 GB so you got these ones in RAID 5 RAID, these ones in RAID 0 and so on these both have 280 gigs of RAM two uh, quad Actually, sorry, this one has hexa-core, the 6-core CPU, two of them, and this one has quad. And they're both uh, 2.4 gigahertz. And this is a new addition. This is a Dell Porridge R510. It has 12 terabytes into RAID 60, so I have 9 terabytes usable. Um, it's a pretty nice uh, upgrade, and this one is running on the server 2012 R2, so that was a little uh, hefty purchase for that one, along with the, uh, this server was purchased with empty caddies, and I had to buy out enterprise drive space in one of them, so that's costly, and yep, that is a fiber uh, brocade 200 switch, 200E. Plot things and same features to get to it. And here's an Eaton 1U uh, um, battery backup. And this is for all the switches and just for this one, so it doesn't use that much power. As you can see, the server R610 and two switches and one router that's how much power it takes. Sorry, it's a little shaky on my iPhone. Um, this one is for all my servers 26 kilowatts and nine minutes I had to turn it down so it's charging back up but it's usually around 13 14 minutes for a quick uh, downtime but other than that nine minutes is plenty to shut down some servers but for this one it lasts 23 minutes and if I turn off the R610 it lasts 30 minutes 30 minutes 25 minutes it varies
in the back over here. So some uh, flashy lights, people like it. Here we have each single server has an eye drop. This one for some reason keeps acting up on me. Probably unplugged in the front for sure. We got quad and dual. Quad and dual. These are built in. These are external. And then here is the R610 in the back of it. And uh, people ask the internet speed here. It is a Comcast business. Comcast business. It is 100 down and 30 up. Actually, a paper 100 down and 20 up. I right, get 115 and 32 between the services aren't running. I usually get 24 up. Other than that, it's pretty good. And then here's the fiber for the sand switch. I haven't worked with it yet. But uh, yeah, there's a little back of the And there's a patch panel, a little mess there, but I don't have much time to mess with it. But yeah, there's a little top view of uh, everything. Other than that, yeah, a little update for you guys. Made it a decent one. And yes, these are running the VMware ESXi 5.5 Update 2, along with this one. And uh, that's pretty much it. In total of VMs, there's 47 VMs in both of these. So, next upgrade might be a DAS unit or a SAN, or you can probably be an R720 uh, XD from Dell with 24 uh, array of drain drive base. So, we'll see. Yeah, maybe we got the battery backups. Other than that, I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching.